In this short demonstration, I'll show you how to find an unknown angle using reciprocal trigonometric functions. To start this demonstration, I want to show you the three known trigonometric functions. We all know of sine, cosine, and tangent. Now sine, cosine, and tangent have reciprocal functions. The reciprocal function for sine is cosecant, and it's represented by these three letters. The reciprocal function for cosine is secant, and the reciprocal function for tangent is cotangent. Now the way that they are related is the following. Sine is equal to one over cosecant. Cosine is equal to one over secant, and tangent is equal to one over cotangent. And similarly, and this is probably the way you've seen it written before, cosecant is equal to one over sine theta, secant is equal to one over cosine, and lastly, cotangent theta is equal to one over tangent. So let's start with the question. The question asks, find the missing angle for each question below. And notice that here they're asking us to find angle D. Now unfortunately, if you take a look at your calculator, here's mine, I do not have a button for cotangent, but I do have a button for its cousin tangent. So what I have to do in a situation like this is convert cotangent, or whatever reciprocal trigonometric function they give you, into one that is the original trigonometric function. Here's what I mean. Remember that cotangent D is equal to 1 over tangent D, or tangent D is equal to 1 over cotangent D. So remember, cotangent D, according to this, is equal to 1.77. So all you really have to do is replace cotangent D, this part, with 1.77, and then take the inverse tangent function. So if we do tangent inverse of 1 over 1.77, we will get angle D, and angle D, therefore, is equal to the inverse tangent of 1 over 1.77 is equal to 29. 0.46. Now, if we keep in mind significant digits, this would be 29.5 degrees. Now, it's not stated here, but the question wants you to find all the angles in degrees. If it was in radians, you'd have to change your mode on the calculator into radians. Let's try another one. This time, we have cosecant theta is equal to 4.26. Cosecant and sine are related. Sine theta is equal to 1 over cosecant theta. And of course, cosecant is equal to 4.26. So all we have to do is replace this part with 4.26. And then you take the inverse sine of 1 over 4.26. And you end up with your theta, which is equal to, let's do this together, shift the inverse of sine appears 1 over 4.26 gives us 13.57 degrees. 13.57 degrees. Now, of course, this is three significant digits, so to retain the correct amount, the answer would be 13.6 degrees. Let's try another one. This time they get harder. Here they're asking us the arc cosecant 4.26. Arc cosecant 4.26. Now, what does this mean? And this looks awfully different than the previous one. In the previous one, we had a theta, but now that theta is no longer there. First of all, arc cosecant. Arc is another word for saying inverse. So what this actually is saying is cosecant inverse 4.26. So technically, this number right here, that's the ratio. That's not an angle. And unfortunately, on our calculator, we don't have cosecant you have to introduce a theta. So we're going to set this equal to theta. And what we're going to do is bring this back to its original form. So cosecant theta is equal to 4.26. This is what it looked like in these previous examples, if you recall. Now it's easy. Now we know the relationship between cosecant and sine. So we know that sine and 4.26 represents cosecant. So we will replace this with 4.26. 1 over 4.26 gives us our theta. Again, 
13.57. 13.57 degrees, keeping in mind significant digits as we did above, it was 13.6. In our next example, we're expected to find the inverse cotangent of 1.17. Now, just like in the previous example, we have to set this equal to theta. And if we do that, we can say cotangent theta is equal to 1.17. Cotangent and tangent are cousins. And remember, tangent theta is equal to 1 over cotangent. So we're going to take this, place it right there. And then we take the inverse tangent of 1 over 1.17. And that gives us the answer. We're going to do this together. Remember, shift. And it helps to have this calculator. Tangent 1 over gives us 40.52 degrees. Keeping in mind significant digits, we end up with 40.5 degrees. And in our last example in this video, we have arc secant. This is the first time we use secant. Arc secant means secant inverse. But of course, that's useless to us because our calculator doesn't have anything about secant. So we're going to set this equal to theta. We're going to revert it back to its original form. And we know secant is equal to cosine 1 over that. So I'm going to replace that with 2.47. And I end up with cosine theta is equal to 1 over 2.447. We're going to take the inverse now. Shift cosine 1 over 2.447 is equal to, now notice it's cosine inverse, and we end up with 65.87 degrees. 65.87 degrees, and that's equal to theta. And theta, if we retain the correct number of significant digits, we have to go back in our calculator. You'll notice that the number that you have to discard is a 9, so that goes up by 1. 65.88 degrees. And that's your final answer. That is how to find an unknown angle using reciprocal trigonometric functions. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at studyforce.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.